Okay, we're going to talk about greatest common factor, least common multiple. Pick two numbers. Let's pick two numbers. They don't have to be very big. Yeah. 20 plus 17. All right, 20, and let's choose something other than 17. Uh, um, um, 15. <coughs> Which one? 15. All right, 15. That works. First thing for both of these, greatest common factor and least common multiple, we have to create what? Factor trees. Okay, so we're going to break it down. What's this going to be broken down into? Four, four five. Okay, is it one of these prime? Five. Five is. Let's circle it. Okay, next. Four. Okay, so it's going to be two and two. So we're going to circle both of these because they are what? Five. They're prime. Yeah, he's getting it, man. He's getting it. All right. Not that one. Oh, actually, it's a composite, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, 15, broken down into what? Three and five. Do I circle either one of those? Yep. Both of them. All right, so here we go. Now that we have, this is going to be two squared times five, and this is going to be three times five. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with the greatest common factor. Okay, now, remember what I told you. We're looking for a what kind of number? Smallest number. I know it seems weird. Greatest common factor. Greatest, you would think, hey, macho. No. We're looking for a small number. Right, Ethan? Right. Okay, so, 2 squared times 5, we're looking for the greatest common factor. What number is shared by both of these, yet is the smallest? Yes. Not. Okay, is there anything else that's shared? No. So the greatest common factor is what? It's five. It's shared here and here. Okay, least common multiple. We're looking for what kind of number? Big. Big. Now on the board it says we're going to choose the largest sets of numbers, the largest set out of numbers when there's multiples, and those which are unique. Okay, so first of all, let's start over here. Let's just take all of this, as long as there's nothing that is similar on the other side. Is there anything similar between the two? The fives. Which five is larger? It doesn't matter because they're equal. So, we're going to take the 5, we're going to take the 2 squared, is there anything else we're going to take? We do have to take the 3 because it's there. We take everything that is unique. So, the least common multiple is going to be 2 squared times 3 times 5. Okay, now, what is 2 times 2? 4. What's 4 times 3? 12. What is 12 times 5? 60. Very good, guys. It's 60. So the least common multiple is 60. Okay? We took the 2 squared, we took the 5, and we took the 3. Okay? Remember, this is bigger than 15 and 20. So we're looking for the bigger number for the LCM. Okay, the 60 is bigger than both 20 and 15. The greatest common factor, 5, is smaller than 20 and 15. It's the smaller number. Okay, and the real thing here is it comes down to these two words. Okay, and I'll, I'll point them out to you. It comes down to the F. It comes down to the M. What does the F stand for? Factor. A factor is a number that is a part of a larger number. 5 is a part of 20. 5 is also a part of 15. A multiple is what? It's what you get when you multiply two numbers. So we wanted to figure out if 20 multiplied by something could give us 60, and if 15 could multiplied by something could give us 60. This number could be larger. There could be other numbers that have 20 and 15. This is just the smallest one that contains both of them as multiples. 
Okay, greatest common factor, least common, common multiple. Greatest common factor, the smaller of the two numbers. Least common multiple, the larger of the two numbers. Let's look at another example. All right, Kev, numbers, man. Oh, it's like above 20 or like above or above? Let's go a little higher. All right, 15, 75. 15? No, 50. Oh, 50 and 75. Good choice. All right. 50, 75. Anyone want to come up and make a factor tree? All right, Andy, you can do for one. And Ethan, you'll do the next one. Robert, you're going to circle all the primes. So you guys leave them. Leave them. So Robert can circle the primes. Yeah. You'll have, you can't write at the same time, but you can, uh, you can wait until Andy's done. Come on up, Robert. Don't circle him, though. That's okay. Keep going. All right. Circle them in different colors. Yep. Excellent. Nice job, gentlemen. All right, Ian. How am I going to write this? 2 times 5 squared. Thank you for the 5 squared. Appreciate it. Kev, how am I going to write this one? Uh, 3 times 5. 3 times 5 squared. All right. Now we're down to the business of GCF and LCM. We're going to go ahead and write the GCF in green. And we will write the LCM in red. Okay. So, which one do you want to start with? Robert? You want to start with GCF? Okay. We're going to pick what? Do you know it? Go ahead. Five squared? Yes. That's the right answer. Notice why five squared. Do they both share a two? No. No. So it's not a shared, it's not a shared factor. Do they both share a three? No. No. Do they share a five? But do they share just one five? Yeah. No, the smallest number of fives they share is two. Okay, so the, the greatest common factor between the two is five squared. So five squared, which is 25. All right, least common multiple. We got to take everything that is unique, okay, and the largest of sets. Yes. So okay, so two is going to be an option. Five squared. Five squared? Three. Three. Do we need the other five squared? No, because we already have a five squared. Okay, so this is going to be two times three times five squared. Okay, now let's think through this. Five squared is 25. 25 times two is going to be 50. 50 times three is? 150. Again, notice, the least common multiple, larger number. The greatest common factor, the? Say together, the? Wow, nice. That's real. Team effort. The what? Kev. All right, nice job, guys. Nice job. All right, I think we got the hang of this. Let's go ahead and give you guys your homework for tonight.